absolutely. We have right. been talking before about uh, children's religious expression. That mm -hmm. happened to be another issue. That's it right. happens also on a state level. It it it, it, oh, it yeah. is also um, an issue to. Uh, all minorities, but especially conservative Hispanics. Right. And that is a question of children being able to express their religious ideas in school, in different types of, of venues, in their homework, in a valedictorian speech, right. in conversation, in school presentations, and so forth. Right. And it's an issue that I feel very strongly about, yep. which is that children should not be forced into a religious point of view, right. but children should have the freedom to express themselves and their religious That's right, through, through, what they, through what they right. believe. That's it, right. They should be free to express their religious beliefs in every exactly. setting in well, school. We have a That's film right. of you, and we're about to play it, I think. All right? Be right back. I don't know if we're hot or not. My name is Mary Lou Serafine. I'm here on the grounds of the Texas State Capitol, and this is the monument to the Alamo. It, the language above my, the words above my head say, God in Texas, victory or death. It talks about standing up for the principles that we believe in. I'd like to say a few words about children's religious expression in school, the expression of their religious viewpoints in school. A few years ago, in 2007, the state legislature passed a law in order to prevent discrimination against children because of them expressing their own personal religious viewpoint. Here's what the law said. It says, a school district, that means a teacher, shall treat a student's voluntary expression of a religious viewpoint, and then it goes on to say, the same as a child's expression of a secular viewpoint. It doesn't force children to pray. It doesn't force children to express any particular point of view. But if it is voluntary on the part of the child or the student, then it must be treated equally with a secular expression or a secular idea. My opponent, Kirk Watson, was one of only three senators to vote against this bill. Out of 31 senators in the Texas Senate, only three voted against children being able to express their religious viewpoints in school. I would have voted in favor of it. My name is Mary Lou Serafine. I appreciate your vote on November 2nd. Well. I like it. Well, that sums up. That, was, that, that sums up entirely how I feel about that. I think that's excellent too, I, and I uh, agree totally. It, it, it's it's extremely important for children to be able to express themselves mm -hmm. in a religious way, and that's right. and it's, and it seems to me that 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 includes children who are believers, children who are not believers, children who are Christian, children who are non-Christian, right. and and whatever. It's exactly. absolutely fundamental to our nation, and therefore it is fundamental to, to schooling. That's right. Well, my daughter just said that the only time they were allowed to even mention God is when they said the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, and they're yeah. trying to take that out of the yeah. Bill of Pledge of Allegiance. Right. Yeah. See, and we, we were raised, and we were baptized uh, Catholic. Catholic. My daughter was mm -hmm. baptized Catholic. I mean, it's a tradition that we, we're we going to hold, and That's right. um, if she's not allowed to express who she is, then she's not an individual anymore. That's yes. Right. Yeah, she yes. just becomes a, a collective of somebody else's ideals. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. That's I don't see how there's a way comparable to individual salvation. That's yeah. right. I don't see how there's a way for children to learn religious tolerance of each other's points of view without being able to express with themselves. Exactly. If you're just going to put a veil of silence over it oh, and and crush the expression of it and yeah. make it taboo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, it's a bull, comrade. I don't yeah, get it. I it's a, it's totally. a burqa of religion. Well, a yes. burqa of religion. Yeah, I like yes. that. One. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it's, uh, you know, you can't see it, you can't hear it, you can't say it. You yes. can't look at it, yes. you can't do anything with it. Yes. Now, we should say um, this, this bill passed in Texas to protect children in that way. That's right. Um, I hope that um, teachers in schools um, uh, follow the law and, and, and follow up on it, but, uh, but my opponent was one of only three senators to vote against it, That's right. and I can't see any legitimate reason for, um, for voting, for voting exactly. against it. 
you know the and there's so many candidates so many people in office that have been voting that way not for, not to, voting according to the way we the people want them to vote but voting on their own personal agendas and uh, you know when you look at a senator like Kirk Watson yes. that's uh, not looked at what the people of his district are wanting they're looking he's looking at what agenda do I have to fulfill yes. you know it was like with President Obama we were talking about the abortion issue this was a real strong issue President Obama did not hide his agenda in the 2008 mm -hmm. election. Mm -hmm. People just did not do their research, mm -hmm. you know. But mm -hmm. Kirk Watson was the same way. You know, mm -hmm. this is issues that the Catholic people. There's a bishop out of Corpus Christi. I love this man. I wish I'd remembered his name as we were talking to him. He, uh, Joe Biden, was one that he's really been uh, um, disappointed with. Joe Biden is a Catholic, and he's taken this stand for abortion too. And this retired bishop. Of the Catholic Church had said that you know he needs to be Vice President Biden needs to be excommunicated from the church yes, he because he's standing stake. You know people are rising, and it's you know the Hispanics, the blacks, the whites, the Asians. People there are people that love God and love expressing that love for God. So watching this video, Mary Lou, we stand with you. Yeah. This is good. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's I think it's it's the flip side of I mean we talk about the First Amendment being freedom of religion. Yes. We talk about government and I do I believe this our government should not be a theocracy. That's we right. aren't a, That's we right. aren't a religiously driven no. government right. and we should not we be. Should be. That's right. That we absolutely should not be. Right. But the flip side of that is if you're in order to to preserve a theocracy, you have to have religious expression right. in the culture and you can't have government crushing That's religious right. expression That's right. in the culture. Um, I take it as we just don't have a state religion, but we've all, we're founded we're on founded Judeo Christian values. That's principles. That's right. Well, it's Every just another state. way for them to encroach into our lives and take control of something else. That's right. And that's just what it boils down to. It, it is sad, I know, especially as in the Hispanic community as well, which is still pretty much, they, they fill up the Catholic Church fairly well. That's mm -hmm. right. But you're seeing more and more of the churches are... Are, are not being attended to. That's right. Losing more and more converts. I know. I'm, or, I'm one of the guilty ones there, but you know, well, it's it's happening all over the world. You know, new members and churches are on a decline. The Catholic Church, I believe, is growing at about two percent rate. Uh, evangelicals well, and Catholics, but uh, you know, England, for example, in the I guess fifteen twenty all years ago, all the mosques are full. All the churches are empty. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And uh, you know, there are people. It's time, I believe, that we stand. Stand for what we believe. Elect the people that have the same values we have. You know, so many people, I, 